if that's the blade I would necessarily want for timbers. How many teeth? 40? It's not bad. But on a blade that big, 60 would be a lot better. What do you think? Skill saw makes one mean machine. Yeah. Yeah. Let's put this sucker together and cut some timbers. All right, so today we've been using skill saw um, for doing all of our hand cutting. Uh, we had to go to a ten and a quarter inch saw because we're going to be working with timbers. Um, right now we have a depth of cut of two and a quarter inches. As soon as I get this assembled, we'll know what that is. But as you can see, there's a significant physical difference. Um, both of them have magnesium uh, base plates to make it lighter. Your indexing is the same, well marked. Um, rafter hangers what's set up Reverse threading makes life fun. However, ensure that your blade doesn't come off while you're operating the saw. All right. So we have a new depth cut of three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. It's tons. So we pick up another inch and a half. Pick up an inch of and a half. Cut depth. Cut depth. We have tool storage. Beautiful. We're ready to rock and roll. Should we put it to work? Hot. Grab handle. Oh. I think you want to go outside. Yeah, it's got the inboard one. I think it's gonna rain. I don't think it is. I hear it. This is gonna that'll work. You want okay, the first cut? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, this is sweet. That's solid. And it's it's manageable. It's not too yeah, heavy. Yeah. Okay, let's How wide's your curve? Like a hot knife through butter. All right, slide now, and roll. But I don't, I don't like the angle. You don't like the angle of it. It's not. It's not. It's not giving me a plum cut. Oh. You can see it. Oh. All right. Well, so. Be. 
So that's given me, that's everything I've got. And I can't go any, certainly can't go any lower. So that's what we get. Uh, let's roll it. See, that's interesting. Look at that. I mean, that one's right on the money. Uh huh. Your back ends up. So it may not be that my. May not be the saw. Might be the operator. Or it could be the timber. Ah. Oh. That's beautiful too. Sexy beast. So it's a pretty amazing saw. How's that going to work on the big monsters? Yeah. We're going to have to shorten them up. Yeah. So, uh, typically, I would have to, to square up the end of this post. I would have to cut it all four sides, then get out a sawzall and finish cutting through the middle. And on some of the bigger timbers that we've got, the 10 by 10s, I'll probably have to saw saw use the sawzall but this uh this cut's really pretty i think it's going to be a really nice addition and definitely the right tool for this job Ready, set, go. Yeah. 